Hi, I'm Sabrina, and I'm the president. I'm Giselle, and I'm the vice president. Uh, I'm Lazarus, and I'm a member. So we're a group of 16 students, um, four elected from each grade, and we talk about different issues in the school, and our main job is to communicate what the student body is going through and what their different needs are to the administration so we can work towards a school environment that is more supportive for students. Um, and we have a lot of different subcommittees and a lot of different groups within it that tackle a variety of issues. One of the subcommittees that's been continuous in the past years has been focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion in the school. We've worked on like advertising different classes um, to st the student body and working with administration and getting curriculum to be more representative of students of all backgrounds and different people in general. And we also have groups working on bathroom equity, like getting menstrual products in the bathrooms um, that are provided for free um, because we haven't had that at NHS in the past. We find that while the administration does know about things that are going on in the school that might be affecting students, they really obviously don't have the student perspective. So that's what we try to bring to the table and make sure that they understand exactly what we are going through rather than just what they think we're going through because a lot of the time it's very different. There are certain solutions that we might come up with that they would just never think of. So Laz, when did you join the student union? I got elected towards the end of last year, which was my freshman year. And this is gonna be like my first full year on it. I started like learning everything, like taking it one step at a time. And so any of these issues that they're working on uh, catch your, your interest so far, particularly? Yes, the fundraising. Mm -hmm. I joined because most of our sports are like underfunded and we need help funding some sports like wrestling and other sports. Tell me about how you make curriculum more inclusive or, or what you would work on with that. So I think that like that question is kind of something that we have not figured the answer to because it takes so much to change curriculum, especially in like a public school. It takes like a lot of money, a lot of research, and a lot of different people being involved. Um, so what we've tried to do is kind of work what we with what we already have, and um, like I said, like advertising classes that we have, but also just speaking at like we have a school committee representative in our group um, and getting that message out to the school committee meetings and the people that actually have um, power over change in our district is like a big thing so just starting a dialogue is I think our like main power because people do want to listen to us so trying to just keep kind of consistently every year bringing this issue up again. Like, our curriculum is still not where it needs to be. What are you all doing as leaders in our district to see that through? So you said to advertise some of the some of the classes that yeah. you do have? Like, what is that? So some of them are like Spanish culture and film, black history, women and gender studies, like classes like that. Another kind of aspect of that is that a lot of those classes only run every other year. So that's also something that we've brought up with administration is like, how can we get these classes to run every year so kids have opportunities to take more focused class on topics that have been kind of glazed over in the more like generalized history classes like U.S. history and world history. A lot of it has is not able to happen because there's not enough money to get more like history teachers but it's like trying to get there. How often do you all meet and like how can people get involved? So we meet on the first and third Tuesdays of every month from 6.30 to 8 um, in the high school library. We are an elected body, so if you want to be a member of the student union, you have to run in the spring um, and submit a short statement about why you want to be on the student union. And then if you don't really want to be a full member, but you're still interested, um, you can come to all of our meetings. They're open to the public. You can also speak at the meetings if you um, email us in advance. And when are they? When are the meetings? The 
they're on yeah first tuesdays of every month right all right cool so bk what do you think you think you might be interested in joining the student union what do they do a lot of what we do is like at our actual meetings is just discussion based and then a lot of the actual work like emailing and setting up other meetings and other stuff happens outside of it so like if you were looking to come to a meeting, then you would be like, have a spot in the discussions. We talk about like different policies, like bullying policies, like new things implemented. One thing that I actually want to bring to our next meeting is a conversation about how tardy makeups are only allowed to happen after school, which is not accessible for students who take the bus or have jobs after school. Like we really look at what the rules are in our school through a critical lens and like if you come then you can be a part of those discussions and talk about how it impacts you you don't even have to necessarily be on the student union to have an impact on these things because if if anybody's welcome to come they would contribute their thoughts right yeah we want like we've had people come to our meetings in the past um and contribute like really helpful things I think, like, if I'm being completely transparent, I think that in the past, the student union has been an exclusive group, and I think that's one of the things that we're working on. We want the group of elected people to be diverse, but then we also want people to come to us and to talk to us and feel comfortable talking about their experiences. It has a big impact on what we spend our time on when we get someone who's coming and saying their firsthand ideas, and yeah. So. Do you think we could find out if BK has any ideas about what issues we could work on at school? Food. Better food. We've heard that a lot. <laughs> and we, we agree. Um, one of the things that we did last year, actually, is we helped. Um, we have, like, a student union fund that we got from one of the past principals. And we helped the environmental club pay for the new salad bar. But we're also like in the process this year of having conversations with Mr. Worley about how we can provide like more snacks and stuff like around the school for students to choose from throughout the day and just better cafeteria choices like for like different food allergies and stuff like that and just overall better quality of food. So we're seeing kind of how we can get to that while still having to follow like those state and like district laws about what can be served. Um, yeah. Laz wanted more money for wrestling and I guess maybe other sports. Food needs money, so fundraising is a part of it. Better football equipment, too. Oh, okay, here. We need better football equipment. Better football equipment. So, yeah, fundraising? Is, is that the student union's job, or do you tell the administration you need money and they go get it? Um, there's... Uh, elective spot that's outside of the union. They're called treasurers and they help with the fundraising part. We have um, money, as Sabrina said, from a past principal and we've had the same good amount of money that they left us with. So we spend money on grants every year for clubs who apply, but that money is going to run out sometimes. So we're trying to have like yearly fundraisers where we can just earn more money or like raise more money to kind of keep the fund alive um and then for bigger projects like sports funding we j would just advocate for them through the administration or the school committee anything you want to add no i would just emphasize that we want to hear from the students as much as possible um we want people to come to our meetings we want people to email us um our email is studentunion at um, stu.northampton-k12.us. Um, and we want people to engage with us. And we want to help you have a better school experience. So please reach out. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you.